Hi, I'm Isabella Sullivan. Give me one word to describe the state of the world right now. I would say unbalanced. Can you expand on that? Yeah, I would say the distribution of power is unbalanced. I'd say the distribution of resources is unbalanced. Um, I'd say everything is off balance. Nothing is really the way it should be. And I don't think that that's exclusive to like 2020 and COVID and Trump. I think this has all been happening for a really long time and it's coming to light now. Yeah. Exclusive to 2020, mm. what challenges have you faced this year? I would, I would say that COVID has been a challenge in the sense that we can't really work. I'm a makeup artist, so I can't, I can't work. But I don't even like to say that it's been so much of a challenge because I think that being home and having all of this silence has actually been really beneficial to me. I know that's pretty a controversial opinion to have. I think a lot of people have been struggling, but I think like that silence and time to like do absolutely nothing has been exactly what I needed. How has the events of 2020 provide you the opportunity to grow? So I think having that time to sit with myself really gave me the time to, to reevaluate things, like what are my priorities, what, what is important? Like I'm a makeup artist, right? And I'm sitting there like, how is doing makeup gonna benefit anyone? Like how can I serve my community in that way? And like, sure, art can benefit lots of people and it can be an emotional release indefinitely, but I also just feel like I wanna physically do something to help my community. If you are hopeful, what are you most hopeful for, for 2021? Hmm. I'd say I'm hopeful for opportunities, and I think even more so opportunities to connect with people. I think what COVID showed a lot of us is that like we, all we really have is each other. Anything, everything can go to shit the next minute. Like we don't, it, things could get significantly worse. We really don't know. And all we really have is each other. So valuing my family and my friends, even like my deli guy. Like we show each other love on a daily basis. I see him on the street going to the train and he'll be like, hey, like, how are you? We'll stop and talk to each other. And I don't think that like that wasn't happening before COVID, but I think people are looking for more opportunities to just talk to people, to say hello, to feel loved. Cause some people have, are in situations where they can't go outside cause their loved ones are uh, at higher risk. So you can, you can really see that. I can see that those people specifically are like really reaching out. They're like, I need to talk to someone. I need to just be in someone's presence, not even have like a significant conversation, but just be around people. I think it created the opportunity for people to reach out to people that they normally wouldn't really speak to or they don't have contact with anymore. And reconnecting in that way has been pretty nice. Even not even rebuilding friendships, but just being like, hey, like, are you okay? Are you guys good? It, I think people are becoming more empathetic. Mm -hmm. I think COVID was kind of necessary. That's super controversial to say. I know a lot of people like lost their lives and people are sick and like, I don't want to invalidate that at all. But I think that it brought about like that sense of community is what I'm feeling the most right now. And um, yeah.